Hey everyone, Miss Slams back with more math. Today is lesson 20, session five, so we're finishing up. Um, I apologize if you hear a dog crying in the background, it's just because he can see dogs at the dog park and he wants to go to. So um, he's just being a little bit of a baby right now. But we're on page 471 and it's our last day of counting to 120. So this is the page that we're on. You're gonna use this hundreds chart to solve problems one, through 11. So I've written the problems up here. It says fill in the blanks, use the chart. It says one more than 100 is, one more than 117 is. So what they want you to do is they want you to use your finger if you need to and find um, 117, for example, and move one spot and you'd be at 118. You're just adding one on. So one more than 100 is 101. One more than 115 is 116. One more than 117 is 118. 119, 120. 99, 100. 111, one more than that is 112. So every time you're just going up by one, it may look like it on some that you're going up more than that, but you're really not. If you were going up 10, it would be 109, but you're just going up one more. Down here for problems seven, eight, and nine at the bottom, you're going to fill in the blanks. So I have 104, and if you need to, you can use the chart. 105, 106, 107, 108, 109. If you remember from like one of our first videos, these should show like you're counting to 10, right? They just repeat. So you have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109. Now down here, we're going to go from the 90s up to the low 100s. Um, so it says 98, 99, 100. 101, 102. And again, we're just repeating eight, nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two. See how it repeats? It's a pattern. 114, 115, 116, 117, 118. Oh, and then I think that's it, but we'll go one more, 119 then it would be 120. All right, let's turn the page. It's our last math page of the week before we take the test. And it looks like this, all right? At the top, it says, Jean has 60 cookies in a box. There are some more on the tray. How many cookies in all? So in his box, Jean, that's a soft G, and a long E, Jean, has 60 cookies in a box. And then if I count how many are on the tray, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven on the tray. This is why, excuse me, why zero is such a friendly number. It's so easy to add 60 plus seven. Zero plus seven is seven. And there's a, an invisible zero here, but six drops down and it's 67. You could also count on if you have these seven dots, five, six, seven, you could say 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. Okay, so he has 67 cookies. Number 11, Kadim draws some faces. How many faces? Circle, is it 74? Is it 84? Is it 94? So if I look at how many are left over, I can see there are four left over and these are all four. But if this was like 75, I could rule out 75 as being wrong because there's only four left over. And I'll show you what I mean. See these four? One, two, three, four. If this said 75, I could say, oh, I know that's not it because there's a there's four, not five, but they all have fours in the one place. So it's okay. So now I need to count up how many groups? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 
81, 82, 83, 84. There are 84 faces. Oh my gosh, he was busy drawing faces, wasn't he, friends? All right, good job. Good luck on your test. I know you're going to do great. Bye.